Opening map is going to be Overwatch. Guidance Gaming, former Dominion Series 2020 champions. TKS took them out in the major of the first of this year. These two teams are very, very close rivals. Both teams have seen a gamer get replaced. Rohit is taking a step back. Clucky's took his place. Mushka had to take a, to take a step back from For Honor as well. And Bucko has come in. So you're seeing the Buck and Cluck combo getting 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 separated. Those two gamers uh, play with each other quite a bit. Generally speaking, and in matchmaking. And here we go with the opening fight. Really important here. Best of five. Uh, we Remember, TKS came from the loser's bracket. Guidance Gaming does have the upper hand here because there is a bracket reset possible. I cannot stress that enough. Very happy about that. All right, here we go. Well, we got big damage coming off onto Scorpion. Clucky's also eating a lot from Shigs, though. Shig's gonna oh Shig's went for the faint and big damage coming down on Scorebrand from the that was perfectly executed. Shig's got the demon ball, put himself out of stamina, but Scorebrand comes out and it was a wall splat in the corner. So Scorebrand was able to come in with some big damage to finish him off. They could also take a point right now if they wanted to. Looks like they're gonna go ahead and rotate out there and grab it. Shig's and Clucky's need to con need to take out console real quick. Here we go, big gank, big heavy, and there's the hunt. Oh no, no bad timing on the hug. He might not have actually had enough recovery time to get that to begin with. Oh, big headbutt right there. He's losing his teammate, though. Shigs by himself still had enough of a tag there. Console gets the revenge. Pops it immediately because he's under pressure. There goes the hug from Prince. Let's take a look at the score of the brand. I was going to say, he's probably getting close right about now, and he is. There we go. He's got it. Yeah, the icon didn't show it properly when you're not locked on uh, in, in spectator mode. When you're locked on, you can see it better. Scoreband trying to get him off the point, trying to get a quick cap. Didn't work out. They're going to get a rotation here, though. C point is still anybody's game. Shig's doing some good, jo good job uh, with, uh, with peeling here. Ah, oh, console coming in, getting a big hit there on Scorebrand. Scorebrand's going to take a dive. Big, big uh, bash right there from console as well. Skullkies is down now. Got that tier one. There's the tier two coming out. Shigs is going to eat that. Lots of damage right there. But console already uses tier one, so they're going to have to gank him to the. Uh, there, he's bleeding to death. He is bleeding to death. Oh, wait. No, he's not. He's one health. Excuse me. Looked like he might have been bleeding to death. Brave Lord down to him by himself. Big right there. Big confirmed. Very nice. Bucko going for the faint to the GB. Confirming the big heavy from Scorpion. C is C has finally gotten to uh, gotten capped here. Throughout all that, at some point we did see a C cap. A point also being uh, has been capped by Naughty Prince here. Again, TKS being the aggressive team here. It's paid off for them. Scorpion's got his tier one now. Let's see how he uses it. He's, yeah, see if he uses it to peel or if he uses it to try and confirm a kill. Right there. It's not enough to kill, but he might be able to get, use it to get some pressure on Bucko. But, oh, he goes for a guard break, and Bucko snuffs it out and punishes him. Speaking of Bucko, console is low. Bucko getting a very nice bash and kill onto Clucky's. Very solid play there. Juggernaut is there. May get him an extra hit or two. And because he has as much revenge as he does, it's not a, it may work out for him. Let's see. Scorebrand, let's see what he does. Oh, nice, nice roll there. Whips, calls of the heavy to whip. Big punish, though. Hey, is he going to go for the head? Oh, my guys, the read from Bucko and a huge ledge onto Scorebrand from a bash. Epic play there by Bucko. That is insanely huge. Very big read there going into the all block, expecting a uh, an opener attack again. 
Scorebrand was low on stamina. He only had enough for one hit. He threw it out there, and unfortunately, he's going to get punished for it. Very good play. Big damage coming out on uh, from uh, from Shigs and 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 uh, Clucky's there, and just like that, just one guard break is all they needed to finish him off. Big hit. It's just insanely. It's insane how much you can how much you can do with that hug. But as before, you've got a ton of revenge here. You got to be careful. Scorpion doing really good work here, keeping him at bay. I'd love to see Scorpion work in a 2v1. Unfortunately, he did he oh, he did get revenge though. Fortunately, he got he, he looked like he got a guard break there, but that was enough to get the revenge. So he's pressuring both teammates there, as you see, and it's forcing them to uh to try and peel for each other and get a get extra tags on, and that's what's only what we're seeing here. He did get the revenge, and they took they're able to defend the C point. The Still have mid lane, and they have a solid they have a solid point lead and a solid renowned lead as well. They've almost got three tier three uh, tier fours, and they've got a tier three on Prince. Big big gaming. A naughty Prince. All right, mid lane it is. Are we going to see a plunge attack coming from A point? You know, I got to say, in this in this tournament, I've seen a lot of usage of that uh, that parry repost from uh, from warlords, and you know, you love to see it. Typically, that's something that's strategic. Are we going to see a tier four right now? Are we going to see a tier four right now? Are we going to see a tier four right now from Bucko? That's the question because they were all bunched up there, and we didn't see it. Right now, Clucky's or Buck's got to be really careful here. Actually, he's in the middle of minions, and his teammate just di died. Scorpion's down, Bucko's down. Clucky's is gonna go heal. I think if Bucko would have used that tier four, that would have solidified that team fight. They were, they had enough. Would have been good for mid as well. They had enough of a of a stack together to where I believe it would have been worked out. It could have potentially worked out well for them. Four in mid TKS has got to stay in mid lane. Now they're going to try and get, take a side point and C is the obvious choice. It is the closest to mid and tier fours have got, uh, have, been had by TKS. Remember, talked about this a moment ago. They almost had three tier fours, and now they do. They've got them. There it is. Big solid tier four coming out from the Jean who lands on on Shigs. He still has three projectiles. Oh, it hits him in the hits Rave in the face. And get, and using the console using that tier one as well. It's a one v one here on both sides. Going for the bash. She's under pressure. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, looks like that was a uh, bad, uh, maybe a whiff parry or... But Brave is going to come out on top of this very solid play. They're taking out Console and Bucko. Thanks for having my back. Again, it's... Anybody's game at this point. Both teams are close to tier fours for all players. Scorpion used his. We must have missed it. Again, this is the opening round here. Best of five. Bracket reset as possible. Guidance in the... Uh, this is the grand finals. Guidance does have the upper hand here in terms of being in the winner's bracket. Very nice play there by Scorpion and Prince. Oh, the tier three comes out. Did he land it? He must have. Oh, no, I don't think so. Good play by Prince. Good dodge by Prince. No, he got interrupted. That's what it is. I didn't notice it got interrupted. I thought it went off. The animation for that is so quick. TKS now down by two gamers. Guidance really took control of this map. 
And it's all down to Scorpion. And Scorpion would have to win, you know, about three, four, five team fights. You know, nothing, nothing major. But a ledge, and that's all she wrote. Win. Guidance came back, took control of the map, held on to it. Although the first half of this match was clearly team killing services. There was definitely, there was un some unfortunate mismanagement of revenge tags that did clearly go in favor of team killing service. And now we get to see round number two right away. Highfort, we've seen Highfort a lot. And I imagine it's because of the potential of ledges for Shugo. We did see a Demon Ball coming off a couple of times off C-Point on High Fort. Here we go. GG is on Attackers and TKS on Defenders. Round one. Or round two, excuse me. Round one going to GG. Let's take a look at the opening bell, how we're going to see the splits. We've seen a 2-2 two -two split all day. We have not seen anyone go 2-2-1 two -two or 2-1-1. One -one. And... We're always seeing Shugo going to C-Point when a Shugo has been available. Now, we are seeing a Warlord Shugo and Shugo Nobushi. I used to use the headbutt there by Prince and Scorpion. Uh, Clucky's does have a little bit of revenge after that, though. Big damage coming off from Shigs. Good. Oh, no. Prince was trying to peel with the headbutt. Shigs got away from it. Still landed some good damage on Scorpion and did punish his friends for the uh, for the whiffed headbutt. One good bash, and that's all she wrote. Unfortunately, a, 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 a bad block, or a lack thereof, rather. And Prince is going to go down. Meanwhile, Bucko making quick, uh, quick work there, finishing off Rave. Shig's trying to get over to A because console is low. He doesn't want him to cap A point or heal. And he's going to get that shut down. They're going to get A point, I believe. Maybe not. Nope. Score brand, good rotation there onto A point. Again, you know, you want to... Off a, you know, off a spawn, you want to go where the getting is good. The, get, the getting is good is uh, going to be on A point here. I just noticed that my phone was doing an emergency warning. I didn't hear it. If you guys heard it, I apologize for the uh, distraction. All right, here we go. Again, we're seeing JJ being played here. <clears throat> Two teams played JJ. We see Rave Lord and JJ now, and we saw earlier uh, Ugu Gang was running JJ, uh, Sai was running JJ, and then she switched over to Aramusha, and I think the Aramusha pick worked out much better for them. Both heroes having a bash is actually really good for pressure, but Aramusha's, uh, Aramusha's ring the bell is very good. And by... by Point of clarification. And there you get it. We see the, the hug. It's going to be revenge, but. And also, we saw a Shugo teleport. That was kind of cool. Yeah, that hug gank is very, very potent, very, very powerful. <clears throat> and he can pretty much set it up with just about anybody. Anybody can set that up. A counter guard break, you get a hug, and your teammate gets a heavy. That's pretty much how it goes. That's what makes Shugo very, very strong. You've got dodge headbutt. You've got decent. Uh, you've got very solid oh wait wait no it didn't fall off that was just that was unfortunate for for cluckies <clears throat> had bucko been out of stamina might have actually fell off potentially he was right there on the edge 
Clucky's the buck and cluck combo right there. The bash, you see the... Oh, wait. Yeah, this little corner here gets a little finicky sometimes. I'm seeing Bucko fall into the uh, plant life. Nice tier two. It doesn't... I don't think it actually landed on anybody, though. Scorebrand dropped it out there. I don't think anybody got hit by it, though. Uh, no, still no Scorpion step back into it. <laughs> Cluckies and Rave. One of the two might go down here. Yeah, very nice play by Buck. <clears throat> Buck just gets a peel and... Oh, here we go. Gank comes out. Nice. The light for the confirmed to heavy. Uh, Scorpion went for a GB. It bounced off, though. He's trying to peel for, uh, peel for his teammate. Big light parry, though. Right now... I was going to say, Scorebrand does have the bush... Scorpion does not have the bush, so he doesn't have the pressure. As good a pressure there as Scorebrand does, and he uses that bash to the full extent that he can possibly do it. The full extent of the law for honor gives him. Meanwhile, at mid lane, uh, we're going to see a push here. Try and get as many points as they can. While they have it, because TKS is still behind. Tier 2 coming out from, T from Scorpion. It does land, but it does feed enough revenge where <clears throat> we're going to see uh, Clucky's uh, get it. Clucky's has it, throwing Scorpion on the ground. Getting interrupted. Looks like he was getting interrupted there. Unfortunate. He does take a dive as well. Bucko finishes him off. Scorbrand comes in. Big light parry from Scorpion. <clears throat> Bucko's going straight for C. Where C is in danger of getting taken. Bucko trying to go for the crashing charge. Does not get it. You can get a you can get a crashing charge off of a hug. If you do it a certain way. I don't think he had the right angle for it, however. Very solid play by Clucky, though. There comes the ledge. Empty dodge into zone. Very solid mix-up there uh, by Clucky's Bez. <clears throat> we saw Prince was under pressure. Big hug coming out from Shig. Scorpion getting all manner of revenge, but that's okay. You see, something that, 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 something that we do see in these situations with Shugo is that it's not necessarily a 100 to 0. It's typically going to be roughly an 80 to 0. Maybe, depending on the depending on the matchup, depending on the situation, but it, you still get a ton of damage. And in this situation, they do own the point. They just have to wait for the revenge to run out, and they could eventually take them down. All right, we've got... No, excuse me. Uh, wrong John Who. There we go. Scorebrand from Guidance Gaming. They are up by a ton of points here. They took B a little while ago. They grabbed A, and they've been holding on to it for a while. Let's take a look at what's going on up top. Guidance has a huge, a huge, uh, huge renown lead. First, may, first round went to Guidance. It is a best of five. Yeah, we have... Cluckies might die, but Bucko's still in a bad way. <clears throat> Shiggs is going to... Oh! Looks like Shiggs went for an, for an empty dodge. Off of that, he might have been able to get a... Uh, get a... Get a... Um, a Demon's Embrace on Bucko if he had gone for it. Here we go. We've got the last. This may be the last team fight that we see here. <clears throat> Getting out of this and being able to recover from it is going to be nearly impossible. Prince is going to go down, and all it is left is Bucko <clears throat> is the last man standing. And a Tier 2 and a Tier 1 is going to finish him off. GG takes the second map. The real question is, can TKS stop the bleeding? Can TKS stop the bleeding?
or are we going to see Guidance Gaming take this 3-0? to zero? Some of you guys are saying reverse sweep. Sometimes TKS in the Grand Finals can be a bit of a <clears throat> sleeper, so to speak, in terms of uh, they're a little slow to get going. Let's see if we uh, <clears throat> if we see that from them now. Can we just take a moment to admire the full commitment from Cluckies on the blue scheme? On the whole Tron Warlord bit that he's got going on? <clears throat> Guidance Gaming coming out to support their team. No, you're disgusting. <laughs> Hello, Wanderer. How you doing? All right, guys. Here we go. 2-2 two, two split again. Although it looked like it was going to be a 3-1 split there for a moment. Pluckies and the Blue Warlord Power is going to ledge Scorpion right now. Oh wait, nope. He doesn't get him. In, he didn't get him in recovery. Good peel from uh, good, good peel by Shigs, but the Piper armor was already there. Again, eating Clucky's eating some external damage there from Prince. Good, <clears throat> good use of the lights there by Scorpion, getting in some damage, uh, peeling for his teammate. Prince is in a bad way right now. Unfortunately, goes for the guard break after the bush. It is a very, very, uh, I believe it's a hundred millisecond window for the combo. So going for a guard break there is basically expecting them not to press a button after the uh, the headbutt. Rave Lord, meanwhile, getting A points. So Guidance Gaming having a very strong lead. They are in the blue. They have complete and total map control, and we are going to see TKS coming in here to mid lane to try and uh, even the odds a little bit. Scorpion getting a little cheeky uh, tier one feed in there before he goes up to hang out with his teammate and heal and talk about uh, tea and crumpets and whatever it is that they talk about up there. Again, we've talked about this strategy all day. It's a very solid strategy if you own the side points. You don't necessarily have to come out and take tights that you don't want to. Uh, Scorebrand's hanging out in mid, trying to see what they're going to do. And meanwhile, we're going to see Shigs and Cluckies fighting off Bucko and Naughty Prince here. <clears throat> on C-Point. All right. Princey, a little... Uh, weird jitter there uh bucko looks as if he's got a got, may still have a revenge tag bucko says no you're not going to get that unblockable on me clucky's behind you I, i'm not falling for that i can parry it shake's putting himself low on stamina but goes for the dodge head but again i think Flucko's not going to fall for that oh well no he goes for the bash instead i thought for sure he might be going for a guard break to stu shut the, uh, to maybe try and shut it down or or to throw a light. Clucky's is letting him go. Clucky said, all right, Buck. I think we've had enough enough fighting for today. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you have this. I'm going to let you uh, I'm gonna let you get out of here. I know that you've got nowhere to go. Let's you go to mid lane. And he goes to mid lane and die. And that's a perfect example of what you would do if you have nowhere to heal and you are low on health. You wait for your tags to run out, and you go and die in mid lane, and that was a safe bet. Cluckies didn't want to kill him if it wasn't on point. However, I think taking that kill right there would have been more renowned than no renowned. Yeah. Guidance Gaming has full control here, except for mid lane, and honestly... That was a tier two, and I don't know if uh, Scorebrand threw it from up there. I think he did. Again, we're seeing uh, Prince try and come in here and take very good damage on Shigs. Trying to come in here and make something happen. Scorpion eating a ton of damage here in these in these fights, though. Eating a ton of damage. Oh, I... 
I was gonna say I thought that that Prince might have hit Scorpion, but I don't think that was the case. Clucky's coming out on top of this. And the unblockable, just the ganks here. Really solid stuff here. The re you know, here's the thing about JJ is JJ, if you don't use him very if you don't you're not careful with him, <clears throat> his big swinging heavies in the middle of team fights will hit everybody. So it's that's why it's interesting for me to see JJ coming in here and uh, being played. I played with a JJ on my own uh, on my own team way back when. It wasn't really in favor of it. Uh, wasn't really in favor of it because of that same problem. Very good ledge here. Buck sees the opportunity, takes it, but he's also going to pay for it. Clucky's is going to take him. They got Phalanx. Three ledges. Two, four, four. That's four ledges. Ah, ah, ah. Three of which is for Guidance Gaming. TKS ate three ledges there in that team fight. They get no defender renown for that, but they don't really need it when they already have all of their tier fours. That was one hell of a way to end this tournament with that. And I say end it because this is the last match. They, they, this is this is it. If GG takes it, TKS doesn't have anywhere to go. They have nowhere to heal. They are forced to to fight this out wherever GG makes them. Yep, Scorpion. Scorpion says I've had it. That's it. He's like, ah, shucks. Ah, shucks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. You know, Scorpion, that's not your tier two. You can't iframe that. I think you knew that, though. Everyone's trying to ledge Bucko, though. He might ledge Cluckies. He ledge Cluckies hilarious wait wait oh unfortunately he was trying to cancel his recovery out of that but unfortunately um he's just trying to get he's just trying to get some just one last ledge for the road looks like he was trying to go into all block there but i think he was still in recovery from switching his guard from left to right and guidance gaming takes number three that's huge it's huge it's huge. That's 3-0. and oh. Guidance Gaming is going to take the set 3-0. to zero. So, <clears throat> as I was talking about, like, you know, people are like, you know, the TKS may be a little slow to wake up or whatever. <clears throat> so is Guidance. And we, show, we even saw that earlier in this tournament. TKS took the first one, the first round. Guidance Gaming... Kind of took the second one. The third one was very solid. And again, we saw something like that here where Guidance, although took three to zero, they were a lot closer matches. The third match, they were not playing around. Or maybe they were playing around a little bit. I saw a little clowning around, but they they showed up and they shut that down really, really hard. So congratulations to Guidance Gaming and their new teammate, Clucks or Cluckies, really, really, really good work. So the real question is, so is uh, Guidance going to officially uh, pick up Clucks and Cluckies and uh, into the uh, the the whole the fold? You know what I mean? That's the real question. Is Cluckies going to get that big sponsor officially? That's the real question. So. I gotta tell you this now. I, I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not trying to put anybody on the spot or anything. But I gotta tell you like this. Like Clucky's was easily the MVP of some in some areas when he filled in uh, for Mo on KD over everything, and he's shown that he's clearly one of the best players in North America on Warlord by playing with Guidance Gaming and filling in and fitting right into uh, Rawat's position. And I think he's done him proud. I think he's done him quite proud. So. I am going to uh, send a little DM to the score of the brand.
winner's interview. See if we can get a winner's interview. Let's pop on down to the old lair. See if we can get the uh, the winner's interview. Although I'm practically dead to the world, so my uh, my questions are basically going to be: So, um, <clears throat> why uh, why is Clucky's Tron Warlord? Why what was the decision behind that? What was the strategy? Like, what microwave did uh, he get scrambled out of to become Tron the Warlord? You know. The important things, the things that everyone wants to know. What's the insider tip on uh, the <clears throat> up, down, and sideways on the uh, the blue warlord stock market? 